and then Khoisan, you know, so, I mean, those are two Springboks, we've got X Factor for us. Uh, we're probably not in the, in the fortunate situation like other teams to have those kind of players to our disposal, um, as many as, as the other franchises. And, you know, when I reflect on the URC, um, that's the one thing I probably see that we're lacking is we're lacking a couple of X Factor guys. So maybe next year we'll try and do some recruiting and get a couple of X Factor guys that can open the game up a bit, you know. So, you know, that, that, that's our work on. That's, that's basically, basically what I said to the players. You know, I guarantee you we'll get it right. I guarantee you we'll work hard enough. And I guarantee you uh, that this time next year we'll be a much better team from the lessons we learned in this campaign. Jake, uh, 17-7, you must have felt quite good at half-time because in a way it could have been a lot worse. That's exactly what I said at half-time, Craig. I said 17-7 and we haven't even had the ball. You know? So I said to them, gee, can you imagine now? You know, we can turn this thing around. I mean, 17-7 and we scored. You know, people often talk about scoring right before half-time and right after half-time. So to get a score just before half-time is... Is the thing that coaches talk about, you know, those championship minutes are the ones just before half time, just after half time, and the back end of a game. So, you know, to score the last play and score just before half time, I mean, two of the three we got right, you know. Um, but I say it again, you know, credit to Stormers. They, they're a good team, they're champions. Um, they've got an incredible record here, and 10 incumbent Springboks. You know, we don't have 10 incumbent Springboks. I know in some show on TV they said we got 14, but we've got about four that are retiring this week, you know. So, but anyway. Jake, Jake you're, um, you're yes. a tremendous um, territory pressure in the first 20 minutes and that's yeah. part of the, second, of the first half. What yep. is the pressure at half-time? Um, <coughs> um, you obviously, you guys scored double them as many points in the second half. Mm. Well, the message was is we try and score quickly after half-time because I thought at 17-7, we score and make it 17-14, would have been exactly the pressure that I wanted to apply to the Stormers. You know, I wanted them to feel it was like to be under the pump in front of their home crowd uh, and feel the, the pressure. But, you know, credit to them. We didn't, we didn't get that score after half time. In fact, losing, losing Huisson, they probably put us back a bit as well because he was just starting to understand what we needed to do in terms of the kicking game. Um, and then we lost him. So, but it's quite ironic because when Kirtley went to fullback, we started carving them from behind and they caught everything out of the air and... So, I mean, as I said, I'm not sure what the right thing would have been is if Kanan and Kirtley had played fullback from the start and we had Hurston at 10, maybe we would have played a bit differently, you know. But it's easy, it's easy to say that when the game's over. I mean, I don't know what it's going to look like. But next year, I'll say it again, I can guarantee you we'll be a much, much better team than, than we were this year. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, what was Hurston's injury, Joe? I think some guy whacked him on the head on a tackle. There's a couple of those head-to-head -head clashes tonight, Gav, which no one saw. Um, I watched a test match where some of those tackles would get red carded. And tonight, you know, best referee, best TMO in South Africa, and nothing wrong. Jake, um, you know, you spoke now about some decisions that, that you didn't get, um, and also maybe the guys also didn't help themselves, particularly with the set piece, so you, you get the, the opportunity in the line of the execution. Is yeah, right, well... As I said, Ashok, I mean, I, 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 I'm not going to give you a whole rundown, but a lot of work goes into preparing clips and video clips of things. The answers are that won't be allowed. And then you see the same pictures in the game, and it is allowed. So I think one thing we're going to have to work out is how can we, through URC, find a way to get... You know, I've heard there's zero tolerance on hands past the ball on the ground. Well, it didn't look like that tonight, you know. I heard that if you sack a ball, then it's a tackle, then you can't lie on top of the ball. But that didn't happen tonight either, you know. So, but to be fair, and it now sounds like, but that's what the Stormers do well, and you've got to adapt to that, you know. They do it well, they, they're very good at it. I mean, tonight, for argument's sake, one of the things that they did really well is they played the support runner in the breakdowns and then got over the ball and, and never once got penalised for taking out the support runner without the ball. Um, but then credit to them, you know, that they obviously worked really hard on their breakdown um, and it works for them. They've got a good set piece, they defend well. So if I analyse the game, you know, it's, it's funny how, how we win 7-0 down and I actually said, she's, you know, I don't want the ref to give a penalty at scrum time when someone slips and then we were 10-0 down. 
And then when you tend all down against the Stormers, it's incredible because you have to chase the game. You know? And then their defence is so good that once you have to start chasing the game, you almost put yourself under pressure. You know? so, and the other contract? The one that they should have given or the one they did give? The one they did give. Uh, OK. Because I saw exactly the same picture on the other side of the field. And the captain asked the, the official, uh, didn't he tackle him head to head? And he said, no, he didn't have the ball. So I didn't know you could tackle a guy without the ball. And for me, it was a yellow card against Carl for exactly the same picture as against Keegan Johannes in the other corner. You know, So I repeat what I'm saying. I think we need to gonna find a way in which we, we spend a lot of effort, a lot of time. I mean, Rassi's taught you this many months ago, uh, putting videos together, asking about it, and then you see the pictures, and then you don't get any any joy in the same pictures. That's all I'm... I'm you know, I'm going to say it again. I've got a lock playing for the Sharks now for the Bulls tonight. He got red carded in a test match for exactly the same tackle that I saw tonight in the in this game. Red carded in a test match. So, I mean... Three more matches. You must post your videos on social media, Jason. Yeah, oh, no, I'm not on social media. I have enough problems without going on the social media. Jason, while we're getting some expected players, what else do you take out of this game? Yeah, Liam. I mean, I, I, as I said, I think they look sharp. The Stormers, they show, they show us that they've got some, you know, the, the explosiveness is very good. Um, so we're missing that, you know. Um, and we have got a couple of signings coming, you know, busy negotiating a couple of guys. Um, I think next year with Wilco Lowe coming as a tight head prop, is a little bit more seasoned as a tight head prop, uh, having seen how the Stormers have been successful. I mean, the Stormers are, they're very... You know, they're a very solid outfit. They can hold you in the first phase. They can put you under pressure when you try and play from lineouts. They have an incredible defense system. Um, and, then they, and then as soon as you turn the ball over, uh, then they can punish you. you know, and basically, they're not scared to have a crack. Um, and that seems to be the winning recipe for the way you want to win this competition. You know, I, I often said, Liam, you know, one thing which is incredible about this year for us, we scored the most points, 613 points in the competition, and generally how it works is the Crusaders, when they've dominated Super Rugby, have scored the most points. Brumbies, when they won it, they scored the most points. Uh, so, you know, you look at Leinster, generally over the history of this competition, they've scored the most points, and, and they've always been there and thereabouts. So, you know, I, 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 as I said, there are a lot of things that I think we can still, we can still improve on, and, I, and I've said to the players tonight, we'll get it right. I mean, I, we'll, we'll, we'll have a big debrief about what we need, and I'm you know, I'm quite lucky in that I work for an organisation that, that will buy into that. So if we need some expected players, we're going to have to find them. You know, if we need to look at our, our pre-season training and, and maybe changing the way we do our pre-season training, I'm not going to obviously tell you what, what I think it is, but we, we're going to have to find a way in which we can, we can prepare our team to win a URC. Because I genuinely think that we, we're not there yet, and it's not a, it's not a reflection on the players at all. Um, but we will get there. I mean, I'm 100% right. You know, I'm, I've been in this job 41 years. I can tell you that we will get it right. Two more um, questions. Uh, with the, the obviously with the, with the focus on the Cup now, uh, yes. will you also see players be rested for few weeks now and straight into yeah. the Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know what happens tonight. I mean, I see we're down 22-13, so that could have a massive effect on where we're going to be. I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to make a decision on where we want to be URC-wise in a year's time. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want to give you all my things that I've been thinking about because obviously there's an effect on. I think a guy like Ruan Nokia needs to put on weight. I think our front rowers need to put on weight. I think our speedsters need to do speed work. And, you know, maybe, maybe we need to start from Monday. Maybe we need to start that process from Monday. You know, so I'm going to have to obviously reflect a little bit. You know, this year we didn't have a great year. We came six in the, in the, in the log. And we made the Champions League and made the top 16. So we had a, we didn't have a good year, and yet we, we much better off than some teams. So, we'll, as I, I'm going to repeat myself, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get it right. Can I just ask? Um, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry, just in that, now, Jake, would you would you say that the Stormers would have been the side today? They knew. Yeah, much better, side. much better. I mean, as I said to you, I mean, the Stormers are a good team. Eh? I mean, someone asked me in a press conference this week, uh, was the challenge against Leinster much harder than this one? I mean, these guys are champions. They won the tournament, you know. And they play at home, and they've got all these... I mean, they've got everything. They're well-oiled. I mean, they're really well-oiled group, you know. And Jake, just in summary for the season... Yes. You've had, you've lost, you had the 10 losses. 
You've yeah. had your sicknesses. Yeah. You've lost the storm six times. Yeah. You've lost the Western Province twice as well. You're quite a popular guy. So I want to know is, <laughs> I just want to know is, do you not feel that it's maybe time for you to step down now, or are you going to continue for next year? I just want to know details for that, for that, uh, well, for your campaign. I'm not even going to answer that stupid no. question. I want to say, I'm not even going to answer that stupid question. So can I just ask, um, just to clarify, which uh, factor plays, because you've got guys like Kirk Lee and so on. Yeah. Um, are you talking about forwards? Um, you mentioned players to, to, to get more speed. Yeah, look, I think, it's, I think it's generally just getting the balance. Uh, you know, I think, as I said, I think the, the Stormers, if I use the Stormers as a benchmark, they're the champions. They are, um, you know, they, they've won it now and they get to another. And with all likelihood, guys, with all due respect, can take a massive effort from Connacht to fly here and beat them here. And again, not taking anything away from it because of the travel and because of the home and the way vantage. Highly, highly likely Stormers will be in the finals again. I mean, it's two years in a row this group of players have got to the final. And the, and the model is simple. When I say it's simple, I'm not saying it's easy to get, but it's simple. They've got a good scrum. Their line-out is, is very efficient. Their defence is very, very strong. And when they... I mean, Marnie's kicking well at goals as well, so they get points. And it becomes a hell of a difficult to, to, to catch up uh, to them once they get scoreboard pressure. So, to answer your question, I'm going to have to find who we need in order to have a good set piece, to have a bit of X-factor, to, you know, to have that kind of style. Not copying them, but it's obviously something that's working in this competition. Last question, Gavin. Yes, Gavin. Uh, Jake, sorry, this is going to sound like odd because your scramble defence was actually very good. Very good. Yeah. But, um, so, to, I'm not talking about tonight, but um, how far are you, are, are you going to be getting a defence coach going forward? Yeah. Are you going to be changing, because you're talking a lot about the players, are you yes. changing things in the management? Massive amount, massive amount. Lots of changes. Um, and not because I think it's time for change. There's not, there's not, some of the guys who've been with us have been with the club for a long, long time. And if I read, and you would also get all these sort of news, you know, news, rugby news, changes at this club, changes that club, changes that club, we probably, we probably in line for some changes. You know, changes with new energy, changes with some new ideas. Um, yeah, and I, and I think, again, taking nothing away from the guys who've been, some of the guys have been at our club for a long time, but I, I think we do need a little bit of something different, you know. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to definitely, that's part of, that's sort of my, Part of my promise to the players about we will get it right because I, I know I know what I know what's going to happen. I mean I know I'm already I'm already in the process of getting all those things in place. So I know when we walk in pre-season wise, there will there will be a wow factor. Cool. Thank you. All right. Thank you.